welcome to Shakespeare's YouTube channel and welcome to one of the practical lectures as requested by uh, some uh, members that are doing uh, information technology and computer applications so uh, today we are going to um, cover powerpoint from uh, scratch we'll cover the main points we'll cover um, what we think uh, is uh, more important in powerpoint so uh, before we start i just want uh, to encourage people to subscribe to this channel just click uh, the red subscription button or the red subscribe button that is appearing just below this um, uh, video that you are watching <clears throat> right um, so i will show you a, a typical uh, powerpoint slideshow that you are expected to have uh, whenever you prepare a powerpoint slide right so uh, before i define what powerpoint is before we do anything this is the slide that you are supposed to be able to come up with all right so i will run it from a to z uh, for the first time and i'll run it for the second time telling you exactly what uh, is supposed to be done so uh, this is uh, the slide i just uh, I clicked on um, start and then here it shows my name and then I click next um, let me open uh, the keyboard so that maybe you can see where all these things are coming from today I'm going to move a bit slow because last time I got some complaints where others were saying ah you are too fast you cannot get what you are saying and some were saying we cannot see what is uh, on the slide so i am going to zoom in uh, or incre increase uh, the size of uh, the text that is going to appear on my slide and uh, i encourage you to use your laptops instead of using your mobile phone because some of these things you may not see them and uh, the other thing is i want uh, you to learn through practice learn through following what i do learn through doing so as i do copy and do it on your own uh, personal computer or any uh, device that you are using and that device must be capable of doing exactly what i'm doing here no matter the vision that you are having on your device <clears throat> right so this is uh, the slide and uh, because uh, some were complaining about um, the size, the, 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 the size of the text that is appearing on the on the slides, I'm going to change the size here. Right, so I'm going to change the size of these things. I'm going to right, put where and then increase the size of that. Right, so you need to see what I'm doing here and learn how to do it. Uh, but uh, at the moment, I'm doing it for you to see what I am going to present to you so you do not have to stress yourself to say what is it that this guy is doing so we are just waiting for others to come and uh, for more likes to come i want to see more likes coming in i want to see more likes coming in more comments uh, positive comments i'm seeing them all and sometimes i fail to say thanks to every positive comment 
So bear with me on that. So let me increase the size here. Yeah. Let's put that. Let me put the clone as well. So you see how I increase uh, the size of these text, uh, text messages. Just about it, bold it already. So this is how it's done. This is how you do it. I want to see more likes coming in. The moment I finish editing this, I want to see more likes coming in. Let's put it to 40. And uh, this one this one is says so it's 80. I am in 40 there. And this one I think it's seven this one is let me put what you there. Right. So um let's just wait for others to come. Alright, right, 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 right. Right, so that's fine. Let's um let's start our business for today. Let's start our business for today. Right. So <clears throat> Um, before we start, let me just delete these things. Delete that. Delete that. Delete that. Delete that one as well. Delete this one as well. And we we'll put this in there. Right. So, <clears throat> what you shall expect from this lecture is this. What we're going to do is we shall uh, come up with a PowerPoint slideshow which uh, presents or which runs like this from scratch. It runs like this. Let me write. It opens uh, the name of the presenter. Then from there you click next or downward arrow and then you say the topic that you're going to present about and then from there you go to the next slide where you define your objectives to say uh, in this uh, presentation or in this lecture uh, I'm going to talk about uh, this interface uh, overview that is PowerPoint interface we're going to talk about tabs, we're going to talk about a ribbon, we're going to talk about groupings, we're going to talk about presenters notes. And exactly this is the outline of what we are going to do right now, today, in this lecture. Right. But I am teaching you how to present. Get this correct. So what are we learning? We are learning to use Microsoft PowerPoint. Get me? Microsoft uh, PowerPoint. What is it that is called uh, Microsoft PowerPoint? I think I will elaborate on that. So you shall be able to come up with something which moves from one slide to the other in this way. And then we have PowerPoint interface, interface overview. You might have a picture. Then you describe the interface using the picture. Then you have that um, transition. I will describe what a transition is, but as you saw from that slide, that's what we call transition. Then we talk about tabs, maybe use a picture as well about uh, to talk about tabs. And these are exactly the tabs that we have. Then that one is another um, transition, which is different from other transitions that we have seen uh, from this uh, slide. And then next we want to talk about um, ribbon and then PowerPoint ribbon title pops in or zooms in. Then we have that title as well. Then we, we can use um, an image to describe what uh, the ribbon is and uh, to illustrate as shown by this, by this um, picture. Uh, so the area circulated with the blue line is the one that we are calling the ribbon. Wow, what's that? Somebody might ask. So that sound, that sound, inter, uh, as you observed from this slide, it 
it opened up without me clicking next so what is it it's something else that we're going to learn today so I just click once next and then everything comes up by itself then it pops out or it shrinks in and then we go to the next slide which uh, is about uh, PowerPoint notes and then here PowerPoint notes title pops in and then presenters notes words and then here I choose to describe presenters notes using a text box with some describing or descript, uh, descriptive text message and then from there I then go to the next slide with this transition uh, where we can see a rolling egg if I click next you will see the egg rolling right so I can give it roll twice so by the end of this lecture you shall be able to come up with such things and then uh, that's it for rolling egg here you shall also be able to come up with a rolling ball or colliding balls so these are the colliding balls and you might also have some sounds to say when they collide you see that's a So you are going to learn all this uh, today. So this is just an overview of uh, the outcome or what you shall be able to do, what you shall be able to come up with uh, uh, after learning this using PowerPoint, Microsoft PowerPoint application. So right, let's go back to the first slide and talk about what PowerPoint is, what PowerPoint is and uh, why we want to learn PowerPoint. So the PowerPoint from the term PowerPoint as you can see here, this is uh, the term PowerPoint. So power point, power with capital letter P, point with capital letter P as well. So why do we have uh, these two capital letters uh, representing each term? Somebody can say, in each slide right so a uh, PowerPoint this is just an application which is uh, used to present uh, or to make presentations whether business presentations school presentations uh, or to illustrate something whatever that you want to, to illustrate maybe it's, it's an industrial process or whatever that you want to present to uh, to your audience you can use uh, PowerPoint Microsoft application, right? So to present something, you do not have to fill the or to fill the slides with a lot of text. What is needed within a slide are the points, and by PowerPoint we are saying the points are the ones that exist within a slide. The points are the ones that we want to see on the slide for example here you can see only two points the one which is saying shakes martin when i present uh, or, which is going to be used or which i used to introduce myself so maybe if somebody is presenting on this topic or, or is using this slide to, to, to present you might start with this uh, slide and by default or by the way the the slide was made it goes this way this one uh, this animation goes and then without me clicking anything shakes martin appears and by this time that's when i will say uh good morning ladies and gentlemen my name is shakes martin and today i'm going to present about powerpoint i press next you see so by doing this when i say uh, powerpoint then i now say powerpoint is a is a microsoft application which exists within Microsoft Office Suite and it is used whenever you want to make uh, presentations whether uh, business PowerPoint or uh, business uh, presentations or educational presentations or whenever you want to uh, show some illustrations to, to any audience of your choice 
right so when i go to the next is uh, I, I expect it to see only points on the slide and what else the power of those points exists within the presenter so me being the presenter i'm the one that is expanding the uh, uh, um, the brief or short phrases that are existing on the slides is notes sorry i'm having uh, a core here uh but i'm going to i'm not going to take any calls my brother can you help me mr james can i just say he's uh, busy with uh, mm -hmm. right so that's it these are the points you say you introduce yourself you introduce the topic or any subject that you're going to uh, present about from there you say next right so i have uh, described or defined what powerpoint is it's just an application uh, developed by microsoft uh, and it exists within microsoft office uh, powerpoint right and on each and every slide we expect to see only points and the presenter is the one that is going to give us the power of those points you get that so we go here here are the objectives and the objectives goes interface overview where we will talk about uh, the all the uh, all the, uh, the graphical user interface of uh, this application called powerpoint we're going to talk about the tabs we're going to talk about the ribbon we're going to talk about uh, the groupings and then present us notes you see on this on this slide do you have a lot of text this might be the maximum number of points that you may have in a powerpoint uh, slide two for six six is too much these are too many points within a single slide but since these points they are one word or at most two words they, it's okay that's uh, what justifies this number of uh, uh points within a, a slide and nothing more or we don't need to expand a lot on each uh, on each uh, slide on each point rather which means minimum time is spent on each slide then we go to the next so that's what you do when uh, uh when you want to talk about uh, when you want to present or when you uh, want to prepare a PowerPoint presentation. So whenever you prepare a PowerPoint presentation, few notes or few points and more about the points is then uh, said by the presenter. And when you have an image, it's more better. It becomes more easier for you so let's uh, start with the overview of the uh, powerpoint uh, interface so i will start with uh, the file button the file button i will click it so that you see what happens when you click it so uh, the one that i'm using here is uh, microsoft uh, powerpoint uh, 2016 so 2016 uh, is the latest version if we do not have uh, any other version which is after 2016. So other versions, maybe 20, 2007 is, uh, does not have this file button. It has got a uh, Microsoft Office button here. So the Office button works the same as the file button. So don't confuse uh, the two to say I do not see the file button on my uh, Microsoft Office uh, PowerPoint 2007 right so the but uh, the file button it's used to provide these options to the user we have new new is used when you want to create a new uh, powerpoint slide new powerpoint slideshow then we have here open if you want to open an existing uh, powerpoint uh, file save if you want to save this um, powerpoint save as if you want to save it with a different name or if you want to save it um, uh, to a different folder then print if you want to print uh, your um, your PowerPoint slideshow 
so if i click here you will see print options number of copies appear here if i want five i can increase there if i want to print choose uh the printer here i put this list of printers i can change the settings here to say i want to print all slides or i want to print only these uh the current slide or custom range of slides and uh, other settings as follows right you can share this uh, with your colleagues online email and so forth you can export it to video or to cd or anything else then you can close this so that's microsoft office power uh, office um, button or file button so we are now done with uh, this button then just up uh, above uh, this button we have uh, what is called a uh, quick toolbar where we have uh, the save button which is used to save uh, your file and do to reverse uh, the recent the most recent uh, operations then this one to redo or repeat uh, several uh, some um, operations that you have uh, undone then we have a uh, begin uh, slide from the beginning or uh, start to run the slide from there uh from the first slide then uh that's it that's the quick toolbar for you quick access toolbar for you then from there we have our tabs so this is home tab with these commands you can see these commands changing when i click on insert so you can see that here you can insert a new slide you can set a table you can set a picture and so forth so these are the tabs home like uh, described in this slide we have uh, these are the slides these are the um, tabs that we have so these are the tabs we have home insert design transitions animation slideshow review view and so forth but this one is the one that is um, that we are working on. So home, we can have insert and have design. So uh, click them so that you can see uh, what we have on each uh, tab. Then here we have uh, animations. Here we have slideshow. Here we have uh, review. Here we have view. Here we have that. Here we have that. So these are our tabs. These ones. So if you do not want to confuse yourself, you can copy the list of uh, these slides, these um, tabs from this list. But when you click on each tab, you can see that each tab has got its own group of commands or its own group of uh, buttons. You see this? Right. So we are done with uh, the tabs. Let's now look at the ribbon you will see that uh, each tab has got its own commands that exist within the ribbon so which one is the ribbon now i will use this slide to show you the ribbon so this is the ribbon this is the ribbon that area so we come back to our original interface if i zoom i may i only zoom uh, slide content but here that's our um, ribbon so if I click here what is changing here is the ribbon the content of the ribbon so insert the content of the ribbon has changed design the content of the this tab has changed transitions has got its commands its, uh, its uh, commands yes and buttons that are different from uh, the buttons or commands of animations you can see they've changed slideshow we have those commands so this area with commands or buttons that's what we are calling the ribbon that's what we are calling the ribbon so i think i need to use something called um, snipping tool to show you uh, exactly what we are talking about right so this is the ribbon this one this is the ribbon right you see that 
this is the ribbon for for slideshow but the ribbon for the ribbon for for transitions is this one so if i say if i am to highlight so this is the ribbon for 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 transitions the ribbon for for animations for 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 design i say you know, so let me okay design so you can tell me the commands that exist within this so within this ribbon you can see that uh, we have uh, commands but these commands let me go back to home and then show you the ribbon for home uh, so this is the ribbon for home right you can observe that uh, within this home uh, ribbon we have groupings here that's group that's group that's another group that's another group so these groupings this is clipboard and clipboard commands are these ones then slide commands are these ones then font commands are those ones then we have uh paragraphing uh, commands uh, which are these ones and then we have drawing and so forth and so forth and so forth as we go that side you see so these are the groupings as uh, illustrated by this slide and let me show you here and uh, this one i don't think it's going to stay so these are the commands let me just um show you here so this clipboard and it's demarcated by this line it is it's a bit faint you can you may not see it so these are the commands under clipboard and these are the commands under slide and these are the commands under font and these are the commands under paragraph these are the commands under drawing editing and so forth so these are the groupings as you see there was, right so we are just talking about the, the whole interface and then let's talk about the the, 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 the presenter's notes so here let's say i do not know more about uh, presenter's notes i may choose to write presenter's notes here i may choose to write some notes about the points that i'm going to expand since i i need to talk about the, 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 the points to my audience as if i know everything that is within my uh, slide i will use this to remind me about some other points that i'm using to expand the main points that are existing within my slide so i may put some text here to say um, these notes cannot are only are only meant for the presenter right like that so these notes they do not show or they they do not appear when i run my presentation so let me run from this from the current slide from this one so from current you see let's wait see my slide going you will see that you cannot see those presenters notes presenters notes but i'm seeing them here on my um on presenters computer so this is what is being projected by the projector but this is what is uh, let me show you what is uh, what will be showing on uh on um presenter's computer so these notes are only meant for the presenter so i may say this while reading but making sure that i'm keeping eye contact with my audience so i may just uh, have a glance on those uh presenter's notes then now i know i can repeat those uh, those words exactly or word for word and then the the audience may say yeah no this guy really knows what he is uh, presenting but that's not it and uh, i may say uh, i may tell you the the next slide that is going to come and i see it here 
to say rolling egg animation so i will say right uh, we are done with this now let's talk about um the rolling egg before it pops up then the moment i say that i then click on next then the rolling egg comes in you see the rolling egg is there and then on my uh, computer i can then uh, click next to see the rolling egg so that's presenter's notes for you and here i may uh, read presenter's notes on this slide because here we do, you cannot see any 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 text but i might want to say something and that's something i may not remember it by head so i put additional notes on presenter's notes so i might read this this egg is marked twice with the two pencils of different colors to check whether it's actually rolling and that's what you are seeing here so to check if the the egg is rolling this color must go up here while this one is going down to so to, to, to actually show that uh, the egg is ro rolling and the the main reason why i chose to have a an egg shaped circle is to show that uh, the shape is actually changing as we are rolling our egg so that's our egg and i will show you how to uh, uh, design such an animation then we go next to i think i'm done with uh, the with the interface i'm done with the interface uh next the next thing that we are going to talk about is the meaning of the, fun the main functions of each uh, each uh, tab so this tab is got this if you under uh, the home tab it's, it is got clipboard where you can copy and paste whenever you copy you are using home tab slides you can add new slides to say i want new slide if you click there you can add more slides so i do not want to do that i will show you how to add new slides as we start our own project in a few minutes to come so here yeah, you can uh, change the layout and so forth insert you can insert picture table slide photos and so forth table you know, insert some graphs and so forth chart uh head or footer like i have something here which is saying um, made by shake so this is the footer you insert by clicking here you will see how we can add that then design we can change the design as you see the design is changing so let me click this one so that you can see how the design is changing i may click that one i may choose this design i may choose that design but i don't want all these designs i want this one let me revert back to that one so these are the themes that you may choose and these are the variants of this uh, this theme so you may click here to see fonts and other effects and so forth and then you can also change background by this uh, this button which is under design so you might uh, be asked by somebody to change the background uh, of his or her powerpoint so let's close all these pins uh, and then on uh, transitions transitions you may choose any transition from this you will see how we apply transitions as we start our project next uh, in the next uh, um, five minutes so slideshow you can choose to start from the first slide by clicking here so it starts with the first slide but if you choose to run from the current slide let's say i'm here i say current slide i will start to run my slide from this second slide so present online i can present it on the internet custom slideshow and so forth and so forth review so, right so on slideshow you something which is important is yes timings this one helps you to check the time that you are spending on uh, on your slides on each slide this is the time that is that you spend on uh, on one slide and this is the overall time that you spend presenting the whole slide so you see that i go to if i go to next now this is the time that i'm going to spend that i have spent on this slide and this is the total time that i've spent uh, running my slide and you may choose to save your slide timings all right 
so that's it you may experiment with other buttons you may check spelling and other things you may show comments and so forth you may choose to this is the normal view that you are having i may change it to online outline view i may change it to slide sorter so that maybe i may change the order of my slides but i do not want to do that uh, page notes page you may view your notes and then the slide you may add your notes here the presenter's notes reading view so this is the reading view so we do not want the reading view slide master and so forth and so forth you may choose to experiment with all these other things and if you do not understand any of these please um give me a comment so that maybe i can have another slide another lecture or another video specifically talking about what you have asked all right so let's go back to our normal uh normal view all right i think we are done with the uh, overall interface and i will leave you watching this video for the next few minutes so that maybe i can have a small rest and you might also refresh so let's save the video here Right, uh, welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Let's now start our. Um, let's now start our new project. I hope you have enjoyed uh, that video. Um, somebody might say, why, why that video? I'm uh, actually uh, showing you that video because uh, it tells you the importance of having uh, security cameras on. Uh, on uh, on our houses on our shops on and on everything that you, you you want to secure just having the camera there whether it's working or it's not it's so important whenever the thief sees that camera he or she might uh, be frightened or be afraid to do that uh, malicious activity so right let's uh, start our new project start new project so you click on new then you say you start to want to start with the blank blank um, blank slide so here we we type in what we want to have as the title and last time we said we want to say we want to have it as what shakes uh, maybe presenter's name so here we just say presenter name and say presenter's name here and then you click or you highlight everything then you choose the color maybe let's say that one and then you might bold it and then drag it to a position where you want it then let's insert some pictures because previously we were seeing some images moving from that side and the other one from that side so I click on insert and then choose pictures and I'm going to put this picture so let me go to my downloads that's where my pictures are and then uh, from there we have, I go to images then on images um, I select my my logo let me select six as logo 
and this is the last one let me select that one and then resize it you see how i resize it right let me put it there and then resize it to something like this in a small icon like that and then let me have another picture so that's how you choose pictures that's how you can set pictures that's how you can set pictures let me, let me choose um, another picture right let me choose this one and insert it so this one i put it on that side then drag it or resize it to that and then put position it there right after positioning it there i can right so now i have that let me just see what happens when i run my slide from the beginning uh, they come all at once but now i want this one then uh and that one to be to come at once so i will use this this is the keyboard so i will click on that one and then click on control and then click that one as well so i have highlighted these two these two pictures that i've inserted on my slide i will go slowly so that you understand what we are actually doing here i want you to understand everything right so i've inserted these two images and i've highlighted them i want them to be uh, to appear or to zoom in so i go to animations then i choose zoom here right so let me click on control again to deactivate it right so let me test so you don't see that you don't see the animations but when i click on here you will see them zooming in you see so up arrow is used to go back downward arrow is used to move forward well you can use these arrows right so i want to animate this one as well i want to animate but before that i want these two to to pop up the moment i start to run so i click on animation pen then this is the this is this picture and this is that picture so i click there and then uh, start with previous so that the moment I say run, it pops in. You see? The moment I just say run, it uh, zooms in. Then this one as well, I want this one too. But before I, I start animating this one, let me have this one. Let me add an animation to this one. So you can add an animation by clicking that one. Let me put my keyboard there. And then... Uh, Add animation then i want motion animation motion parts so i choose uh, uh which one is highlighted there i think this is the one so i choose uh right right so you see preview there so that's how it's going to move so i do not i want this one to I want this one to start with previous so that the moment this one starts this one starts no i want this one to start after after the previous so you see if i preview click on preview you see that's what happens but this one is not moving so i click this one and then add animation and i choose more motion and i want this one to go to the left all right like that and then i want this one to start with previous so that it starts sorry i said what well, start with previous so it starts with that one so i say a preview right but it's not going back it's not going back so what do i do i click that one so you click on control 
and then you press you click that one so you highlight both animations and then you click the drop down arrow you go on timing you go on effect auto reverse then you say okay and then preview you see but it's not repeating so i want it to repeat until i get out of this line so i go there and then on repeat select so you can change duration delay start and change start on click just and so forth and then you click ok All right so let me uh, review because it's a preview it cannot repeat so let's run it awesome let's run it uh, here and just wait fold our hands and see what happens wow it's now repeating it's now repeating all right so let's um click on accept escape all right and then we what we need is to is to animate this one as well so that it zooms in it zooms in and uh, it must zoom in after first um, round of uh, these animations so we add animation and then we say zoom then this one must start after that one so it starts after the first uh, cycle is completed so let's run it and fold our hands right presenters notes is popping up now all right so that's it and then uh, we want to say powerpoint here so instead of uh retyping here and here right let's let's just do it like let's just uh, have our um, powerpoint term here right and say and highlight everything so what we want to do is we want to use uh we want to use a uh, footy this one so we want to copy here to there so we are like that and then that one there All right so we have copied the formatting that we have applied here to this one so you highlight what you want to copy then you click on format painter you click where you want to apply the same formatting you see so but anyway i don't want to do that let me apply a different color here i want this one and i want it uh, to be a bit bigger right like that and i want to resize this one and i want to put this one close to the center but a bit below and this one i don't want to be closed by these pictures and then this one i apply animation here i want to apply a different animation so i can choose this one to bounce in and this one starts after the previous All right so let me run this line and fold my hands All right you, you can see that this one is coming up after this one is on which means i may not have time to finish this one and then go to this one so i will say i want this one to start on click so that i can say whatever i want to say about myself and then introduce the topic that i'm going to present you see so powerful points are the ones that appear within each slide powerful points somebody might say it's the points that are on the slide and then the power of those points come from the presenter and somebody can say powerful points only powerful points are put on the slide in the presenter elaborate or expand the, those powerful points with um, more information All right so we are done with this one but uh, there's another thing that we want to add which is the footer which tells us to say this was designed by uh, somebody called Sheikh Samati. So we go to inserts, 
because we want to insert something we want to set a footer if you want to insert date you just tick there uh, if you want it to be fixed you, should, you select that one and this date is the only date that is going to be uh, showing on your slides but if you say update automatically the day that you are going to present the date of that day is the one that is going to be shown but i run that and uh, here if you want to number the slides you can select slide number but i want just want to put my name there uh, design by shakespeare right apply to all apply to all it means all the slides that i'm going to create they will have this footer if i just say apply to apply only to this slide so i will say apply to all right so if i zoom in you can see i'm pressing control and then scrolling uh, the mouse wheel button design by shakes you can see here right so let's let me zoom it back to Right, and then uh, close this animation pen. We are done with this one. We close the animation pen. Right, and I want to save. So you see, that's what I, I want to save. I want to save it to this folder. And I will say uh, PowerPoint copy. So I say PowerPoint copy. So you can save this as PowerPoint. So this is the file type pp dot pptx. But I may choose to save it as an image. I may choose to save it as PDF. I may choose to save it as a video or anything else which exists within this list. And then save. So PowerPoint copy is saved. So you can see the name here is changed from presenter one presentation one. Right, so I want to add a, a, another slide. So I can still under insert, I can say new slide, or I can go back to home and then say new slide. See, so it will come that way. Then I can add it to my title and other things, but I don't want to do that because that might waste my time. I just want to uh, copy this slide because I don't want to re start inserting pictures and other things so what i'll just do is i'll just say click the slide that i want to copy then click press on uh, control and then see to say i've copied that now i want to paste it and say control v and now have two identical slides right so this is now slide number two but on slide number two, what do I want to have? Uh, I will check on the other one. I have all these text boxes. So here I will say objectives. But my objectives is having a certain color. Okay. Objectives. Ooh, I will not add a, a lot of text. And then my objective. So this one is having a certain color, which is this one. And then my objectives, let me say this is my objective number one, which is um, power point over view. Right, so I say I highlight everything by click pressing control and play. Then I change the color to red. Since the color is red on that slide, then I may say copy this one to the see of the view. And I adjust the positions. And then here I may say tabs. Then from there I may say compressive view. Now I'm copying and just editing the text. The next thing is the ribbon. And then from the ribbon, I have what? Uh, what is ribbon? Then the things. And then maybe I may choose to, I want to decide, I just take the top 
so that all my points can fit you can be slide i don't want to have most uh, more points coming in or overlapping to the next uh to the next slide and then here i see a presenter notes Right, lastly we have uh, animations which we are going to talk about. So I'm going to say animations. And animations will be covered with uh, two slides. The one with the rolling egg and the other one with um, colliding balls. Balls always collide. So you will see colliding balls like I uh, showed you previously. So right uh, here, this is the first slide. So if I click here, my slides would start to run from the beginning presenter's name then if i click next you'll see uh, if i click next let me run it from here let's say i'm running from next from start the next of oh, four point is now pointing in and if I say next the next slide is the one that is coming with objectives and i say next powerpoint overview next jobs so you see all these they are bouncing because i have applied only this animation to these uh, text boxes so let's change the animations so i can click here and then say animations i want this one to zoom I want everything to zoom in because zoom is my favorite animation. So let's test. So if I click this icon, it will run from the beginning, but I want it to run from the current slide. So I will choose this icon, which is at the bottom. Here and just fold my hands. Object is coming, zooming, zooming. Zooming, zooming, zooming. Right, so my points are now zooming in. I think I'm done with the first two slides, which is uh, yeah, this. Uh, right, let's go to the next one, which is talking about PowerPoint interface and interface overview. So, what I will do is I will copy this slide like I showed you. I will click the slide, you say Control C and then Control V. The slide is copied. Then here I now say a PowerPoint over uh, interface. Then here I say PowerPoint. I say interface overview. Right, so I will delete this, click this one. I click this one and then click delete. Click that one and delete. You see, if it's having dotted uh, borders, it's not selected. So I select this one so that it's having solid borders. Then delete. Delete it. Right, so I drag this one down a bit. And then interface overview. I need to insert the picture like we are having here on the previous slide that we have been talking about so what i do i say insert insert, insert, insert what picture and then the pictures where are they and then this folder and so and then this one is interface interface overview. Then I say insert so the pictures there. I drag it to the position where I want it to be. So I can drag it anywhere here. And then I drag this one there. And then this one there. I think I and it is there. right so that's it let's let's test this slide here 
or well, it's having the picture ready on Y because it doesn't have uh, an animation applied to it. So let's apply animation to our image. So we click our image and then say animations. We add an animation. We want this uh, picture to do what to come as. Let's save it. Let's save it for the Let's test. Well, it's now coming in that style. Right. We copy this one and then see. Maybe. This picture is now blocking our our footer. So we don't want it to do that. So let's say I want this one this slide to be the first one, I just drag it to the first one, the first slide. And then when I say begin from the beginning, that's it. So I don't want it to be there, I want it to be near the bottom. So see that's what we have. So from the interface we talk about what the tabs. So here I just say tabs. Then here I I can delete. I can delete this. I can say delete. After I click it and then delete it. Insert again picture. And then uh, this is what and insert. And then minimize my background. Then I can move it right up until it fits here. Then I can drag uh, this one there. <coughs> then um, that's our PowerPoint interface tabs. So here instead of saying interface, I can say tab tabs. And then this one is interface. Yes, so. Yes, tabs. You see the tabs here, and then um, this one is it is saving no animation. Let's save this one. Come in a bouncing fashion, right? So from here, how how do we want to move from the next, from this slide to this one? We are now applying what is called transition. So we have transition here. I want it to move that way. So I may preview and see. Okay, that's how I can open the next slide. Okay, let me choose uh, this one and then um, preview. So that's how it comes up. So when I say that's how I get into this slide. So that's my first transition. The second transition, I want it to I want it to be this way. I preview it. It's not actually showing something so let's save it uh, this way and there we preview and the color is not uh, proper let me just choose this one and then move it that way it's not showing anyway so let's choose this one right so that's the second transition so that's how we get into this slide and then how do we get into this slide so that's a transition how do you get into this slide by peeling something peeling off let's see how peeling off works it opens so let's save a test right that's fine so how uh let's go to the next which is tabs we can choose to have uh, this one so it breaks what is there and then open this one so we have that we have that let's have another slide which is about um from tabs we go to ribbon so we copy this one say control c control v <coughs> right after saying control v instead of saying uh so here it's what ribbon so i change this one to ribbon then with this one i also say ribbon then here i can right click here and then say change picture and then go work offline let me restart this one i right click and then select change picture then 
at the bottom right corner of the pop p of the window that popped up there is a command called work from uh, work offline or you can just wait up until it uh, gives you browse from a file or you can search from the internet or you can search from your OneDrive but I'm going to browse and then uh, the picture that I want to use is this one which is for the ribbon and then I resize my ribbon image to fit my slide I can drag it to a position there then I apply an animation and the animation that I apply here let me apply fly in let me apply fly in so this is my ribbon and then let's preview mm -hmm. all right so it's having two animations so let's open animation pen and delete one of these this is the one that we do not want to <coughs> remove it let's preview again it must uh, fly in All right so that's how it flies in All right let's uh so the ribbon we are done what's next uh, from ribbon we have um grouping so we copy we click there we say control c control d right we now have our um, grouping so you click on the last one say say groupings then here we say groupings you may put anything or you can put some text boxes you may put some illustrations or you may put a video so you want to change this picture you right click on it you say change picture so you click on browse so this one is what you things you select you things image then you apply animation since we say it change picture the animation did not change so if you want to change it just click on the one that you want to apply so I will choose this one, the shape, and then test how the slide will go. So that's how shape uh, animation runs. And then we go to the next uh, slide. So you see it's now copying and pasting. Then from groupings we go to what? From groupings we go to um, presenter notes. Then uh, presenters notes. Yes, we just copy it. And then say, let me just say control O and then say power point. Yes, I don't know why I've deleted that whole point. And here we say presenters notes. Presenters notes. So here I choose to to, to delete. The, the image and work with only and work with only text boxes so i control and click on control c control v and then drag it to a position and i highlight and change the font size to something around uh, 40 let me just keep it there so that maybe you can see what i'm typing here then i can say only Four, okay, three, see, picture. Why did I say only for the presenter? These are this is just to keep it short, only for the presenter. What is it that is only for the presenter? The presenter is the one that is going to elaborate this powerful point, All right? So I may change, I may choose to change, and uh, you need to be consistent with your colors. Say headings, they are of that color. And then whatever that is coming after is red. So we choose just choose another red and you need to bold it. I'll just leave it that way, that way. 
Let me just bold this one. Let me just this one bold it, yes. Right, so we can do that. But now, how do I now add uh, presenter's notes? There is this button called notes. You can click on it, and then you have, you click to add notes. You click here at the bottom to add your notes. Here at the bottom, click there, and then you can say, here is the position where in the presenter can add add their notes. You see here is the position where the presenter can add their notes. That's it. And these notes they do not appear on uh slideshow. Right. So I think um, you are now good at coming up with the slide or slideshow, which is very smart and uh, with little content and more value. So it's better to use pictures and better to use images as illustrations or to avoid um, to avoid having a lot of um, to avoid having a lot of um, text on your slide the moment you have a lot of text you will distract your audience they will start to read the stuff and not listen to you so if you want your audience to listen to you put a, a little of um, animations a little of uh, transitions to keep them captivated say wow what's that and then the moment they say that they view that they now want to hear what you are going to say you don't take a lot of time expanding each point because the points themselves they are powerful so the moment you start to elaborate we assume that your audience now understands you do not take much time you get that so few points few time of expanding or elaborating the points and the points must be powerful extract or make sure that you choose um, powerful points that you want to put on your slide so i think uh, i've covered a lot and most of the important uh, things on powerpoint so let's now go to right before we go anyway there was that slide uh, let's add some transitions here i want to add uh, i'm having that one let me go yes let me have this one here and then on this one let me have uh, a curtain right so i may say insert let me insert a new slide where we are going to put uh, the rolling egg where we're going to have the rolling egg so we delete this we delete that let's close our animation pane and then what you want to insert before we do the rolling egg let me show you let's now see our slide from the beginning so this is our slide you now presenting yeah my name is uh Sheikh Samartin. i am um, teaching powerpoint uh, uh, presentation or powerpoint uh, application which exists within uh, microsoft office nonsense nonsense we go to the next slide you now talk about um, uh, your, your, your other topic which is about uh, the objectives you say objective number one is this and objective number two objective number three objective number four objective number five uh, up until you are done with them all then that's transition so i want to have some sounds so let's say i will choose to put sound on uh, this slide that is having um, a certain transition with this one with, with this transition right so i will put some sound here you can choose sound here i want to put a bomb sound there so when i run this slide you see you hear that let's run it again you hear the bomb 
right so that's uh, the sound applied to this slide so you may also choose not to click on the mouse for, for this slide to start you may choose to start it after one second so when i go to the previous slide and start to run it you see that it starts to run by itself without me clicking anything without clicking anything so the slide will start to move and the sound goes like that so that's it for this uh, for the sound mm, what else what else what else what else i think most of the things that i think are important uh, we have talked about uh, them and you may apply this timing and this sound to every slide so let's talk about the rolling egg now we have uh, let me delete this slide and start to insert it again new slide let me delete all these things uh, let me delete this and then insert the shape and then the same shape that I choose is this one. I will draw it that way. Then I put it there. Then I choose this style. And then I will go on shape outline to change the weight. Then I go to six points. And you see, and I want my egg to have this color. Then I will add another shape. Here a circle. And I will click there and choose outline weights. That and I change the color to you know, this is the color of the, the inner color. Let me put that red there. Then put another shape there. And this one I'm going to have it applied to that and then we have this another color which I think is brilliant. Okay. Then we change, no, I inserted the wrong color, outline color. I want to, to have this one and then wait, I put six points here. Yeah. Right, so I click to, to, I want to group these. So because I, the moment I move this one, you see, you can see that other items are remaining behind. So I don't want to do that. So what I do is I click that and then on I click on control and then click other objects so that I highlight all objects and if I start to move it moves as a group. You see? So I want to I want to group these. So I right click and then click on group group them. So the moment I start to drag this, it's now moving as one object. So let me put it back to that. Now I apply, I want to apply a animation to this. So I click on animation. So on animation we have a spin here under emphasis spin. Let's test whether our egg is now spinning. Uh, that's fine. Then we can actually add another animation. And the animation that you want is the one that moves our egg to from one position to another. So our egg can move. Let's say okay. Let's extend. I want it to move to this position. Right. Right. So let me test it spins, then moves. But I don't want it to do it this way. I want it to spin at the same time moving to that location to the other location so what do i do i open the animation pane then i say this one must start with the previous and then run it like that so you see my egg is now rolling so if i can uh, run it here you can see that the egg is rolling so that's it for the rolling egg rolling taka taka right let's now uh let's now go to colliding balls colliding balls colliding balls let's uh, insert a new slide and then delete all these text boxes delete that delete this one as well 
and then what do you want to insert? You want to insert a picture, but the picture wanted you want to get the picture from the internet. So I'm going to download the picture. I'm going to get the picture from uh, my browser, which is um, Opera. So this is my Opera. So I do it that way. What do I do? I Google here to say Champions League Bow. And then search. Then down from the fan and needs or I click on images. So I choose uh, this uh, image, copy image, then go to my slide and add the image, paste it there. I want it to be here then I search for another I want English English Premier League ball and let's say 2020 right and I choose this one copy image then paste it here and so and paste it there so this one i want it to be so I want, uh, this one to be yes this one will be rotating so i want this one to spin so i go to animation and then you choose what's in there then after choosing spin this one shall not spin this one shall not spin so i test whether it's spinning yes it's spinning Right, so what do I do? I add animation, which is animation. Choose animation, and I'm going to choose this one. No, I selected the wrong, the wrong, uh, the wrong ball. I want this one. Let's add animation. Add animation. Animation. Then choose back. Right. Now you edit the points to say I want this ball to be finally here. Right, I want it to be finally here, but I want it to move in this part so that it collides with that point there. Then I delete this point and then take another point there and then reshape my part there. Somebody keeps on calling me here. Um, let me apply. This concept is called table that I'm using yeah, with another lecture. All right, so let me preview. After that, mm -hmm. you see, mm -hmm. you see that the ball is rotating to this location. Now, what I want is I will edit the points, then move the ball to that location. So I want the ball to go there. So what do I do? I preview. It's it spins, then moves, right? So I want this to happen at the same time. So start with previous, and then check spinning, and then going that way. See, let's preview. But this boy is now it's not moving. Now let's uh, let's add an animation to that one, and then we add this add an arc and say okay then you edit the path right so i want this board to be finally here but it goes to collide with that board there and then i delete this point right so i think uh, it must go well so this one starts with what with previous so that they collide at the same time so i go now you see they are colliding but uh, this one must be must go back so that you don't see the white color all right so i think i need to edit the points here Eight, right and then right they are now bouncing now i want to add just uh, so let's run it to check whether the balls are 
colliding yes they are colliding not it's not perfect it's not perfect let's check again all right it's so, okay let's uh, say i don't want this one to start after clicking so i say start with previous and then start to run it and check whether they are right colliding it's okay right i want this to repeat forever so i say timing I, so let me just highlight everything so i click on my control then highlight all these animations and then click on the drop down arrow and then say timing uh, repeat forever until end of slide okay then i can run it right it's okay let's execute it let's run the slide and check right it's repeating but uh i want the balls to move um back and forth so what i do is i click on this animation like i highlight all these animations and then uh, go to effect options and i say auto reverse and then click ok and then check check what happens it's now um, bouncing back going back and forth but now i want some sound i want to see when the balls collide i want some sound so how do we now add the sound let's uh, download a certain video from the internet so what do you do you click here and then you say you open youtube that's where the sound is and we google for kick punch sound kick punch sound right this uh let's download kick punch sound uh, effects here effects from right let's choose um, this one and download it let's choose this one and download it right let's choose that one and download it but uh let's not uh, waste the time because i have downloaded it here i can download it here right since i've downloaded it already what i will do is i'll just um, uh, insert what do i want to insert a video online video on my pc and where is the video i think the video is within videos and this is the video then insert it within this video let me just minimize it there and put it there I want to be very i want it to be very small let's play it <coughs> right so that's the sound that i want to hear so let's um go to playback and i uh, want it to start automatically let's test right so we click when the balls collide <coughs> right so we we put our um, we put this um, somewhere. Let's do it here. Right, so we have our sound there, and then start to run it. Uh, right you click on the video so something went wrong here so but uh, that's how we can uh, actually animate our our go and david make some sounds like that
right uh thank you very much um ladies and gentlemen uh that's how we animate that's how we, we actually prepare a powerpoint slide so you can add some notes so let's run this from scratch mm -hmm. fold your hands the title comes in you talk about yourself when you say next you talk about the topic before you are done talking about this powerpoint point you then click next so that the transitions and the other animations they come in as you conclude the previous slide and then this one comes in as you start to speak about this slide then you speak about it you talk about the other point 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 and the moment you find that you are almost done talking about this um presenter's notes you then click next sorry the moment you find that you are almost done talking about animations which is the last point on this slide you click next so that the pew goes which is the transition animations goes and then the main point or the main subject of this slide comes up then you start to talk about it you talk about interface so that the moment your audience is done reading this the moment once they are done reading the, the, the title you get in or you pitch in you share more or you elaborate together uh, you get to the interface then you kill it on um, on the image with illustrations if you are having a, a, a laser pointer you may actually point on all the tabs and other features that are appearing on the image then you say you go next then you open that you open that once you are almost done you open the next slide it goes that way it goes you go and the sound goes so you can add sli uh, sounds on every slide or many slides uh, depending on uh, what you want so that's the slide that we have created present us notes and we have our rolling egg and then we have our uh, colliding <coughs> So that's it uh, for today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you very much.